it if it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so Tuxedo's always listening. It's waiting for a trigger phrase. Hello, Tuxedo. Wake up. Processing wake up command. Yeah. So it's, it picked up the command and the lights on, shades up. Um, it, it just executed a scene, so it, it handles the multiple actions in on one shot. In other words, it, it, it simplifies your uh, operation. So instead of walking up to it, you know, in case you're carrying a lot of stuff or you're busy, uh, you can just say that command. Uh, nice. Other things that you say, hello tuxedo, leaving the house. Processing leaving the house command. Yeah. So the light went off, you couldn't see it. Light went off. Down there. Yeah, I saw it. Mm -hmm. It, it sets a therm thermostat uh, to energy savings point, and then, um, you know, obviously, whatever you program. So it's customizable, uh, and, and it's not, you know, I if you don't have the shades, okay, it won't operate the shades. If you have a door lock, it could operate a door lock for you uh, as you leave the house. And so the mic is where? The microphone and speakers built into tuxedos in the okay. back of it. So the, the microphone's on the back of it, and the speaker's also here as well. Because I did notice you were standing quite a distance away. Right. Actually, you know, if, if I talk slowly and there's no loud ambient noise, I can get this thing to work within 20 feet. But obviously we don't, we don't uh, challenge people to do, do, do 20 feet all the time. Uh, <laughs> typically, yeah. Uh, what about remote microphones? Any possibility of that? Ah, so, so at the moment we have a, what we call, you know, as Ron talks about mobile devices all the time. So the Tuxedo has its built-in web server and has also supports a, a protocol uh, where we have the API. So there's an Android app. Uh, the app basically, uh, it's connected to Tuxedo and, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. So obviously we, we have some of these scenes already. Uh, I can, you know, push a button to do it, right? Um, and, and, you know, it'll execute some of the, the scenes that are already set up here. But the uh, nice thing about it, you know, we don't encourage it, but let's say you, you're busy doing some other things while, you know, you can press a button. Bedtime. Executing bedtime. So. And is it always running in the background, or do you have to go into a program to trigger oh, a voice uh, command? On, on a mobile phone, since yes. you're holding it, yeah. it's pushed to talk. Now, okay. the, that's a difference between tuxedo right, right. And, and the mobile phone, right? Because right? you, you, you have it in your hand. You can push the button, just like, you know, other, other voice technology. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you push it, and it's starting to listen. So other times, it's not doing anything at this point. The point is to reduce false activation. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. Mm -hmm. you're here to talk to it, and there you're pressing the button. T the tuxedo, button. on the <laughs> other hand, it, because you, you're not walking up to it, so it, it relies on a trigger phrase. Um, so when you say, hello, tuxedo, you know, it, it starts to listen, and... and and can you program in your own phrases or their set phrases? Yes, this one I can say I can I can do it fairly easily, right? I can go in there and go into the menu. Let's say instead of saying a bedtime, I have something programmed in sweet dreams. I can say that, or we can good night. So I pick good night. So I just save that. So I, this is something I just added instantly. And now I can tap it. Good night. Executing bedtime. Which is equivalent to the bedtime command. So it's real customization. It's what you're comfortable with. 